we have here. What we have here is a reformed Coulter 13.1 inch reflecting telescope pointed at our nearest star. And in this, we have placed the cheapest possible eyepiece. This is my affectionately named awful Erfel eyepiece there that you see glowing like it's radioactive. That's the light of the sun about several thousand times brighter than it would be to your naked eye were you looking at it directly. So, you know, don't look into that, would you? It would probably burn out the, uh, probably burn out the camera. Show you some of that. Little details here. This is a early 1980s telescope that has been uh, rebuilt optically, but I've left the outside looking just like it was originally. I consider this a historical scope. This is one of the first scopes that popularized large aperture astronomy. I'm really reluctant to change this outside appearance at all. What we're doing here is we're projecting the sun to 17 and a half inches in diameter on a piece of white tile board. And we are observing, make sure we got everything, we're observing the transit of Mercury. Mercury is right there. Notice I can put my hand in front of the sun without being incinerated. Isn't that cute? We have a nice sunspot group right over here. Um, we can focus that with a focuser on our telescope so that we can get a very sharp image. A couple of fainter, couple of fainter sunspots we see right here between the larger group and the and the planet Mercury. We're about uh, oh 30 minutes from the uh, peak of the of the transit. The planet Mercury is coming from this side and it's going in a curve across like that. And we'll sign out and come back when it gets a little more interesting.